August 11th. We are finally ready to pour concrete. It's been absolutely pouring rain all day. It's not going to stop us. It's about 1.30 or somewhere between 1.30 and 2 o'clock. We're going to get started here. we got concrete truck already here, pumped guys getting set up. Uh, we decided not to uh, use the uh, scaffolding uh, planks up at the top there or along the side because it's just too slippery. And we're going to use the lift on the inside and the guys are going to pour from that. Uh, Scott and Spencer got this bracing up the other day. He had to build a, a little bit of a, a platform for it to get those turnbuckles to reach for that upper level. We have uh, things better strapped and braced this time than last time. We put some extra strapping uh, on the outside here. Position the uh, the lift to get up in there. We have our top plates ready to go with our anchor bolts in place, so they can just be lifted up and put in when that part is ready. finishing. All we had to do was that corner and a little bit down that uh, south wall and that corner blew out. So that is a huge lesson because that whole corner should have been braced uh, with plywood like the other corner was and I don't know why that didn't happen but um, it was just a weak point because it was right between that door and there's a window on the other side of it so Anyway, thankfully, Orion climbed up there and uh, pieced those corner pieces back together and they cut some more uh, boards to, to support it and get it done, but uh, I don't know, that probably just took 45 minutes of, of time. Just Anyway, so uh, they're going to finish up that part and uh, we've got that top plate to put in. 
uh, along the, the, the front wall here as well. So that's where we're at. Okay, so we're just doing the uh, plumbing of the wall with our string line up there. It's still raining, so we've not been videoing much here, but um, I'm up on this scaffolding that Scott created. It worked well. We only had to turn, uh, what, four turnbuckles uh, a few times on this, uh, on, the big on the big wall. And then we only had to turn these two here on this end a few times, and then none on that one, and the, the north wall was totally plumb. I didn't have to turn any over there. Here is our blowout wall, blowout corner, and uh, which got patched up very quickly. So, uh, do you want to explain what happened with that really quickly? Yeah, I was almost done with the pour, and uh, my shoulder was bothering me, so I uh, turned it over to a friend of mine. And I did explain to him about pouring corners, and uh, I think he got um, excited about being at the end of the job. It was the last place to pour, and he put it right down there instead of letting it ease down, you know, which is what you're supposed to do into the corners. And uh, I was fetching water for everybody to do some cleanup, and bam, I get a phone call. <laughs> and I'm like, my dad's all like, it's gonna blow out, get some 2 by 12s up here, quick! <laughs> and I'm like, what? The last thing you want to hear at the end of the job, a blowout, right? So I'm like, I called my wife immediately, I'm like, honey, how bad is it? She's like, well, it's not that bad. I said, well, do I need to run and get these two by toes? Like, no, Orion's on it. He's he's up there patching her way, you know. So I get here and I look, and there's like maybe a quarter of a yard came out of um, yeah. uh, one of the blocks, and the one below pushed a bit. And so a they, bit uh, they got the foam and yep. put it in there and strapped her. Yeah, I know. Just picked up the pieces, <laughs> put them in there very quickly, strapped that on, and. Hindsight, I should have I, I should have strapped that corner because yep. we've got a door here and a window here, so not a lot of. Um, you can't you can't get a lot of concrete in there too quickly. No. I knew that, so I was being careful. Yeah. That's why I was, uh, you know, shutting Slowly. him down, slowing him down, and moving. But I think, every, you know, everybody get to the end of the job, everybody's like, oh, you're in the clear, and bam, you know, it hits you. So, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. We did it. Okay, Imogene's playing in the puddles. We're plumb. I think we're good. We're just going to clean up uh, anything else needs to be cleaned up, and we're out of here. Yeah, just put okay. tools away, and then we'll come back tomorrow and clean up. Yep. <laughs> forgot to mention that we were also pouring these sauna tubes in big feet for the post support for the carport over here so that was part of the pouring project as well and uh, when we were fixing that corner up there that's when they pulled the hose down and uh, and filled those so uh, now I'm just going to get up on the top. We uh, made sure everything was plumb, but I'm going to go up and check where that top plate was put in and uh, make sure there's no concrete it needs to be cleaned off up there. Well, what I wanted to check up here to make sure that there wasn't concrete on top of this board because we have to put that beveled piece on here um, that's you know cut for the slope of the roof and so my concern was that there if there were, were pieces of concrete then I would have to come up here and chip them off later and that would be more difficult than scraping them off now so I'm just using this little mud and tape thing and just scraping this off and, and scraping it off of here because then then that piece will that bevel piece will just be able to sit on top of there and will be good to go so I just finished this whole wall and it's uh, wall is looking plumb, looks good. I was scraping it off. Um, we're not putting that sloped one on this uh, wall, obviously, but um, we do have to put the, the, the outlooks that are going to be placed on here. Um, so I wanted to get the, the concrete off here as well. And it looks like that wall down there, I should probably go down and check and make sure that the concrete's off of the top of that plate also because that one is going to get that bevel piece down there. So um, just when you think you're finished, you're not really finished because there's you got to think ahead and go, oh, do I want to chip the concrete off later or do I want to clean it off now? So it's still raining and things are still wet enough up here to um, 
to get it off. I mean, the, the concrete is definitely hardening underneath there, but uh, I can get this part off here now. So um, I'll just finish this part up and, and call it good.